Good morning to all. Good morning. Good morning. And we are marched together and offer ourselves with the Christ Jesus and have a good day. Attending this holy mass, and we offer this mass along with all those in purgatory, those who are praying for us, <coughs> and those who need a liberation. Today, we especially remember the child, what is his name? Leon. Leon, who passed away, and we pray for his soul. <coughs> and all those who died with other diseases, maybe of Corona, there are many reports and messages of the death of many. We pray for them, Lord, and we pray for our bereaved families mm -hmm. that they may be consoled by your touch, by your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We begin this march in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, Communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Yes. With the, let's come to the Lord's presence with the holiness of heart, depending of all our sins, and taking the sins of others, sins of those who are in purgatory, and sins of those who are alive, and ask God's mercy and pardon. We are one in spirit. When one of the members of the church or one members of the body suffers, the whole body suffers. So when one sins, the consequence of sin is on the family, on the society, and the all. So let's therefore ask pardon for all the sins committed in the church, especially. Lord, we have sinned, especially against love, loving God, loving one another, and our pride, selfishness, self righteousness arrogance, and anger, aggressiveness, not loving others, not serving others, helping others, ask your pardon for all our sins. Help us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Save us, Lord. <laughs> Change 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith be possessed in unending love and thus live a life pleasing to God, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priests intervened 
with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompt by jealousy, they arrested the apostles and had them put in the common gallow. But in the temples and tell the people all about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin. This was the full senate of Israel, and <coughs> sent to the gaol for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found they were not inside. So they went back and reported, we found the gaol securely locked and the warders on the duty at the gates. But when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard this news, they wondered what his, this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Alleluia. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Hallelujah. Look to Watson and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from all his distress. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him, to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Hallelujah. Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your gospel. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but to that, to him the world might be saved. No one, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only son. On these grounds, a sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. For these days, we have reading from the Acts of the Apostles, where the Gospel, the good news, is being spread. We know Peter and John were arrested, kept in the jail, but miraculously, Angel of the Lord interfered. Must be Gabriel uh, or Michael, we don't know. And yeah. opened the door and said, Go, go, go and preach. By the time Shannon Dream, that means the Supreme Court, the highest authority in Jerusalem, gathered together uh, to plan or discuss what to do with Peter and Paul and the, company, the companions. Uh, should we arrest them, put to death, 
know what to do. We have already 3,000 joined them. Again, 5,000 joined. It's like a wildfire. So what to do? They were discussing. And then somebody came and told, no, no, these people who are put in the jail are preaching there. Hallelujah. Yes, something great, no? And they couldn't believe uh, because they had locked the patient <laughs> and the patient guards are there. It's not easy that to get out. So they went and verified and they so the patient was locked. You have see a connection between their coming out and Jesus coming out from the tomb. Right. Hallelujah. In the tomb, they put a stone and shield and put guards, no? But Jesus came out. Same also for the apostles who were locked in the uh, in the in the prison, mm -hmm. I'm sure it was locked with good tight door, not weak ones. Uh, they were strong people, and when they came, everything was locked. They opened nobody inside. Hallelujah! Then comes another reporter coming and telling, "Ah, they are preaching. Go and see." Hallelujah! Amen. See the power of the word of God, power of the risen Lord. Uh, nobody could prevent them. And then we see they were afraid to arrest or use any force. Miley said, please come with us. Hallelujah. <laughs> and we know later, tomorrow we'll hear the rest of the, uh, God, uh, the rest of the reading. And, and the gospel we heard, the greatest sentence in the Bible, God so loved the world that he gave surely begotten son and those who believe in him might be saved. The greatest, uh, actually good news in the Bible is that John chapter 3, 16. Talk to Nicodemus. You must know yeah, Nicodemus was listening the word of God. And Jesus went on speaking. Then he said, those who do not believe will be condemned. You know a word today many don't preach, don't want to hear. Uh, there is salvation. On the opposite, there is condemnation. And sometimes we preach only salvation. I was saying that 3,000 years, 2,000 years ago, we were all saved. So you can live as you like. Mm -hmm. So there's no sin, no hell, all will go to heaven. There's a kind of theology and teaching like that by many people nowadays. The Lord very clearly says there is condemnation for those who do not believe. That's the reason we have to preach the gospel to those who do not believe. And we have to pray for them. You know, in olden times in the church, in the mass, there was prayer for the non-believers like Hindus, Muslims, etc. Now all these are removed because the mentality has come. All religions are one, and all faith are one. One religion, one world. The devil is leading the world towards that slowly, slowly. But we who believe in cannot tolerate that, because Jesus is the only Savior. And those who believe in him, acknowledge him as Lord, only would be saved. Others would be condemned. So we must see how people who are not believing are in darkness of the soul. We have to feel for them, love them, pray for them, and work for them. And then they will come. That's what happens in the work of evangelization among the non-believers. As I was preaching the Muslims, I could see that. And effectively, the word of God was preached. They were ready to open their heart and see Jesus as Lord. Even now, it's being continued. We know many testimonies of people, even in, during this corona time, Hindus, Muslims, open their heart to Jesus Christ and accepting uh, him as Lord and finding salvation. So let's pray for that. So that all those who preach the word of God may be courageous enough, powerful enough, anointed enough uh, to proclaim Jesus as the only Lord and attract people to the salvation or the kingdom which he has brought. Let's pray for all our intentions. So I pray for those who are preaching the word of God all over the world. You know them, Lord Jesus. They're especially on your side. And also there are people who do not preach, although they are commanded, anointed, keeping quiet, not preaching. We pray that such people may be awakened by the Holy Spirit to preach the kingdom of God, the gospel, and attract many people to the kingdom of Jesus. Especially we pray for Europe, where the preaching is very cold and tepid, and not enough preaching of the word of God. Send many laborers so that word may be preached gospel may be preached and the whole Europe may come back to the uh, pristine Christianity, original Christianity. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray for all those who ask me to pray for various intentions. There are many, Lord. 
Mm. There are many people who write emails, WhatsApp. I can't remember all the names. And also people to whom I promise prayer by writing letters. What is happening to you? You know what they need. Give them all what they need according to your holy will. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. 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 Lord pray for Leon's family, Lord. <coughs> they must be very sad to be there with Leon, Lord. Console them, be with them. We pray to you. Lord, Lord our Lord. prayer. Lord Jesus, we pray that you continue empowering your body, Lord. Especially that you give deep, deep conviction to all those children who are loyal now to your Catholic Church, Lord Jesus. That we may be able to reach out to all the others and to all those who are losing the faith or who have no faith at all, Lord Jesus, and bring them to your body, Lord. We pray to your love. Lord, Lord, yeah, I pray. Lord, I pray for all the people that are afraid because they might lose their jobs after this epidemic or that they might have to um, find a new place where they can stay because they will not have any money for them and their family. I pray that you may console them and you may um, let them know that you will provide for them. I pray to your love. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, we pray with all people who are watching online, Lord. We pray together with Ingrid who is praying for the healing of Sylvia who is in hospital at the moment and suffering from cancer for many years. And for the blessing with a life partner and a holy marriage life, all the members of our Catholic charismatic prayer groups, especially those which are suffering for many years. Then we are praying together with Katarina, Jesus Lord. We pray for all people who are sickness, who are sick and who are suffering for our ministries, for Igor, Boris, Richard, Veronica, for doctors and nurses, teachers. Bless them, heal them, liberate them. Lord, we pray for all intentions who are watching online. They're praying for family members. They're praying for people they know in the neighborhood, for friends, for family, relatives. They're praying for their countries, for liberation from corona and all bad influences, other sicknesses and political problems, Lord. We pray, Lord, also for um, the, the opening of churches soon, Lord Jesus, that Churches may be open in all countries again, that holy masses may be celebrated in countries again. We, Lord, we pray for your people, especially for the Catholic Church, Lord, that the clerics may be holy, that there may be holy priests, that you may sanctify the priests and nuns, convents, and the Vatican and the Pope, especially, Lord Jesus. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord, yeah, Lord. Pray. Lord I pray for all the unborn babies in the mother's wombs. I pray also for all the unwanted babies that came unexpected. I pray that you may convince the mothers not to abort them and to find a solution for that. I pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord I pray for the one that it won't come, that it won't not come back, and that. This will come in this world and that Corona will go away immediately from this country. And I pray for all the people that were outside and that have Corona virus. I pray for that you will may heal them. That they will never go outside again. And uh, they will very well they're healthy and that uh, you'll keep them safe from coronavirus. I bring them up. Lord, you Lord, 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 coronavirus is here. Being controlled in many nations, but some countries know, and the countries are lashing the rules. We pray that people may be protected, Lord. People may be aware of the need of keeping the rules, of keeping the distance, or keeping the mask, and that's a fight against Corona so that many might not die. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord, yeah. Lord, I pray for all. Those people who do not want to go outside because of the risk they might be taking to get infected by the virus, I, I, I but have to go outside because 
of different reasons because someone's posting them or because they feel forced. I pray that you may protect them from the virus, that you may protect them from any other sicknesses. I pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord, yeah. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we pray to you, Lord Jesus, for the advances of medicine and science in the research against Corona, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue giving them new ideas, Lord Jesus, and that you bring forward all the research that we may be able to have a medicine soon against this bad virus, Lord. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, yeah. Yeah. Prayer. Let's bring our prayers and petitions and place them in the pattern and chalice, wherever this miracle is going to take place. Let's ask for miracles. Miraculously, medicines may be found and a solution may be found for Corona. And also, the world may start working again and churches may be open soon so that people may have access to their sacramental life. Let's bring our own personal needs as we pray for Leon and his soul. Let's pray for those who died in Corona disease recently and for their souls. What should be the families or the families who lost the dear ones, suffering much pain, the pain of departure, separation. Let's pray for them that they may be consoled. We pray for the church, the poor, and the leaders of the church, and also all the leaders of the countries. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us go the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. Sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good for His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we will make it ours by worthy way of life, and proclaim to the others who do not know the truth. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of our world to praise you, Yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of the light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. <coughs> For his death is our ransom from uh, death. And his rising to life is our rising again. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, 
every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together with the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Lord, you are holy indeed, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like God, you fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Holy Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, before entering into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Away when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Lord Jesus, we join our hearts with everyone in the church, especially those who are attending this Mass, and we praise you, adore you, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Worship and adore him. Worship and adore him. Making melody in my heart and so that in your kingdom. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be brought to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Reinhard, our Bishop, all the bishops, priests, religious, and the people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters, parents, grandparents, ancestors, <coughs> near and dear ones, especially little boy, Leon, and all those who died recently, that they may see you face to face. We pray that we too may have a share in the inheritance in the heavenly kingdom with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Martyrs, Saints, especially St. Francis Sales, Madame de Chantal, and St. Charbel, and St. Anthony of Padua, and St. Ambrose, St. Augustine, John of the Cross, John Vianney, John Paul II, and St. Teresa of Child Jesus, and Teresa of uh, Avila, and Martin de Porres, Rose of Lima, and uh, the Travera Curia Coach, Alfonso, Maria Teresa, and Maria Goretti, and all the saints who are done your will throughout the ages, that we may praise and worship you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you're by the Holy Spirit, you're going to be the entire church. Let's give ourselves to God the Father, thanking the heart for giving us the only Son, our Lord, and the greatest expression of love. He loved us so much. That love we experience right now here on this altar. He has given his own son here in the form of bread and wine. What a great love. Humbling himself, becoming so small in the form of bread and wine. He's giving our spiritual, physical feed and drink. Father, we thank you. Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily death, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In our mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you shut your apostles. I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace, love, unity, healing, liberation, new life, and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you shall give a portion inside of you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant your peace and unity according to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you all. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Amen, Jonas. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Amen, Jonas. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of this body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, 
with the faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health of mind and body. This is the Son Lord, who gave himself his own body and blood for us to eat and to drink. The Lamb that takes away our sins and the sins of the whole world. Blessed are those who are called to this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ bring us to life. Have a last thing. Amen. Opening our heart, let's invite Jesus into our heart. He's coming with all the blessings he has promised. The blessings of salvation, blessing of healing, liberation from all the problems. Let you believe in him and say, come Lord, and believe that he has come. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. into the heart and see the Lord present in the sanctuary of our heart. Adore him, praise him, renew your commitment to him, to love him more and more and to belong to him. And this is the best time for every Catholic to pray. You are so close, one with him. Open your heart, pour out your heart in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord. 
and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously, we present your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and leave those who have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life and to live a holy life through the power of the Holy Spirit. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hail Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless God, your Lord, and women. Bless is the fruit of your Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and in the Lord, Father, Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the malicious snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, be and be pray. To God, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thus to you have the Lord and Holy Spirit, who wandered through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. So, thank you for attending the Mass. Have a good Praise day, you, a blessed day. Praise the Lord. A grace filled day. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart.